Okay, I'm with the JVC, and I know the Lux sensitivity is real nice with this one. And if I open the door, it'll be better. But today is Jan uh, February 18th. I had the keychain regular and the keychain number 16808's going. And here's my project again. I'm starting off with that. It's about 3.30. And I'm going to give it some power here. It's about 250 watts coming out. I got a 60 water, a 200 water, two FETs, IRFP 260Ns, one here and there. Here's the coil, the wind count. I got 95 on the secondary, and I got 440 on the primary with about uh, 460 on the induction Tesla coil. And I'm going to fire it up once I get all the wires ready. Firing it up. And that's not too bad, is it? Uh, if I take this lamp off, that one gets brighter. So you can see that's a 200 watt bulb there and it gets hot. I'll tighten it up. This is a 60 water. And this is all running off the uh, 12 volt supply coming in. I got one and a half amps charging. Got 11.8 going out. It's going down because it's running that thing. I don't like the amp drawing it. So I don't think it's perfect resonance yet, but uh, pretty close. Uh, I think the amp draw is too much. And it does get hot. These thin wires have to be thicker. All the lead wires and everything. All have to be thicker for as far as the power supply wires. They get hot. This guy's rated at 35 volts and he gets hot too. Or 200 volts. And he still gets hot, so I'm going to cut it right now. And I'm uh, checking the 80816 and the 808 keychain cams right now with this JVC cam, which I know is going to be a lot better because it's got. A lot of more sensitivity on the uh, lux quality. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the 808s. You go over here, of course, it's a little later in the day. There's a big slushy icicle ready to come down. And pan and scan. This is also a 20, 120 degree wide angle lens, but if we're running HD 720. At 60 feet per second right now, and uh, me in there, I should be in the lens a little bit. It's protective lens over the lens. That's uh, a cover for the lens. That 360 here. I'm looking at the panels up there. Let me go in the back first. It's all turned into slush, and there's uh, my little dugout now because all the snow's everywhere. And here's the big icicle. Some fell already, but uh, you can see that the canopy, all the snow and ice is off. It's dried out right now, as a matter of fact. But I got a lot of snow behind my table here, my work area, falling down on the side of the back of the cabin here along with the electrical outlet full of ice and slush. So, there's looking forward to getting back to my Bedini wheel. It's not doing anything right now, but the battery's covered. These are charging. It's charging the battery bank inside a utility bank that I can use for doing my tests and my projects. So, this is looking right there. Get my fingers out of the way, the mic and the lens. So I'm going to go out front real quick here and uh, look at the panels again. Let's look at them right from here. So the panels are nice and dry, but there's still snow up there turning slush, and this is all slushy here. Out of bird seed, the Katie brand fruit and nuts. Let me come up closer to it. Specially blended for woodpeckers, cardinals, nuthatches, grosbeaks, junkos, and more. 
And they just love the hell out of that food. They always, they always take it all. <laughs> take all of it. <laughs> well, it's clean the bone. There's nothing going in there in the last couple of days. So I had to take the snowblower, widen this out. A lot of snow on the roof. It's melting fast. Still melting because it's still kind of warm out. There goes a Nitgo truck. There he goes. It's looking at the van, starting to melt all the stuff off my roof finally. I got the garage door open. Looking at my the light level, I bet this camera's a lot better than the 808s both put together. Can't wait to get to you, guy. Can't wait to get to program you and fix you up a little better with a better camera and do some range checks on you and everything. Check, check, double checks. There's the snowblower I've been using. The scooter sitting there doing nothing. I gotta go pee. Ma's got her stove being worked on by Greg so it's pulled away from the wall. I went I got the mail already for today. I'm out of breath already. I'm getting old. So it looks like the snow and ice is melting off of there. I got a new aircraft. You ain't gonna see it very good right now, but it's Sky Surfer. And there's the wing for it. And it's a huge cord. The cord is about a foot and a half wide. And I can't get in there now. I got it all locked up. But go to work tomorrow Wednesday today's Tuesday and I took off because of the snow there must be slush everywhere on the highways this is slush it must be nasty driving right now and tomorrow dad was supposed to go to his uh, settlement with the lawyers and uh, can't even do that we cancel it I got to go to work tomorrow Gary called me in because Paul his wife having six teeth extracted and that must be pretty painful so I guess he's going to be standing by with her here's the 360 right here on the corner of the house the eastern northeastern end here and this video today is part of video journal but I'm testing the cameras find out how good they are as far as quality. And this is my $165 one, so it's got to be pretty good quality. And low light, takes in a lot of light at low light levels. So we're going to find out. It has stability. It's a helmet cam, actually. It's a sports model called the Action Cam, JVC. And I'm trying to find out how good it does. I'm testing the differences. My door must have slammed closed. I see the light levels right now. As we go in, I'm going to have to close this behind, I think. Let's see how the light levels are now with it closed. So, by the, look, by the looks of looking through the screen on board the cam, it looks like uh, it's not too bad. See, I'm downloading the 808 cams on, on the computer. But when I open the door here, there goes the hook. I get some light in here now. You can see a lot better. It's a lot better. When the sun was hitting earlier, see the sun's going down now to the west. It's getting colder out, so I'm going to keep it closed now. I didn't turn the heat on at all. It was so nice out there. I feel the wind picking up and colder air coming. Ready to get my hat back on. So that'll end this cam. This is the 18th of February, 2014, at about 3.35 p.m. And I want to turn this off. It flashes when I record. It's neat. I like this cam a lot. I hope I can do some nice videos in the future coming up here. The battery's low too.